Well, hello and welcome. And now the sun is coming out from behind the clouds. This is Nate. I want to thank you for clicking on the video. And I got this really nice triple wide modular coming in at 2,076 square foot. This is called the Southport. I believe it is the third version of the Southport. So yes, we have an upstairs. We have three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And in case y'all are wondering, we are at Homes by Vanderbilt in Sanford, North Carolina. Yes, I am a long ways from home. They got some really nice homes. So I wanted to come film them, so I figured I would. It's been a while since somebody else has been here, so I figured I would come down here and uh, kind of refresh y'all's mind if you've seen them in the past, or if you haven't seen them, you're in for a treat. So we'll just be real brief on the back side here. You got a sliding glass door right back over there. Homes by Vanderbilt only services the North Carolina area. And now we'll check out this really nice wraparound porch. This porch runs all the way around. Put yourself a little rocker down there. Swing down at the other end. All right, y'all ready for this? So when you come in, you've got this really nice entranceway here. Got a nice little dividing wall. Set your keys or whatever else on there. Set your mail down. You know, just kind of take shoes off, you know, get ready to relax in the home. Always put your coat away, you know. It does get chilly occasionally. So you got your coat closet here. And as we pan around, we're just going to come over here and get the dining room. And while sitting in your dining room here, you could look out on your front porch. I'm not sure where you put the home, but I bet you could set up a really nice view out there. Really like the light fixtures they use in here. Good sized dining room. And then we'll come around. Check out the living room area. Now your living room is where you had your sliding glass doors. Great big set of windows there too on each side of it. So you have a ton of natural light coming in through your windows here. And in your kitchen, 
we'll go this way. Got a nice bar seating for three. You got to plug in at the end of your bar here. Looks like we got a lazy Susan. No, it is not, but it is a deep cabinet. It goes all the way back into the corner there. And these are the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Got an island in the center that fits perfectly with the size of the kitchen here. Gives you plenty of room to move around. So we just got to plug in at one end of the island. Can't forget this sink here. I really love the way it just comes up flush with the countertop there. Of course, all your shelving is fully adjustable. The microwave is above your stove. You can see you got a lot of room in between your island and your sink here. And back over here, we can't forget this really large pantry. So there's a lot to show in this home. I'll try to keep the video from being too long. So I can't spend a lot of time in all those spaces. Coming back over here is your utility room. Breaker box over there. You got nice shelf up above your washer and dryer area. Full length of the laundry room actually. Different color cabinets in here. Nice to see the sink. And there's your back door just before you get to your laundry room. And in here was your water heater, along with some storage up above. Let's go check out the bedrooms and we'll come back and head upstairs. So bedroom number one, they said you got Almost floor to ceiling windows. These are nine foot ceilings. You got some nice big closets in here. Now they're not deep closet in there, but it is nice and long. And we'll come straight across into your bathroom here. And we'll start off with the one piece shower tub combo here. Really nice light fixture up there. If you needed storage in your guest bathroom, you've got lots of it. A whole other cabinet up there. And hello, Raiden. Coming into bedroom number two. Now this one has a much bigger closet than the other bedroom. This one, you get a walk-in closet. and master bedroom. So 
This is a good sized bedroom. I like that it's not right off your living room, not right off your kitchen, not right off. You know, it's down here where all the other bedrooms are. You're not looking straight into it. Because I'm giving away some of the bathroom over there. And I don't know if I mentioned you have the double doors coming in. And then you get this nice long closet space. Of course, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could get the wooden racks and you could add another one down at that end there. Coming into our bathroom, of course you can't hide it. It's right there in plain sight. But we've got a nice set of drawers here. Really like the design of them. The drawers themselves are your standard looking drawer, but the face on them is a nice little square. Makes for a nice little pattern there. linen closet and then we've got this big dark gray tile shower with some marble on the outside and I really love when they do these glass inlays just really stands out You got the rain head above, you got the wand over here. Dual handles instead of just one, so you can control each one separately. Now there is no bench in this shower, but I know you can option in a bench because I've seen it in other showers that I've filmed. We still got a whole upstairs to do yet. I'm not used to having to go upstairs. So coming here at uh, Homes by Vanderbilt, first time I've ever filmed any two-story homes. Okay, so as we come upstairs here, you can see it opens up to a really big area. Now I'm not sure if you would want to finish it all the way up to there, but if you went to where the two halves of the roof come together right there, that's probably eight and a half to nine foot. So you got a really large area up here. I don't know the exact square footage. If this was me, whatever I did with this area over here, this is probably where I just put the bathroom. Because it's still plenty large for a big bathroom. And with that, you should leave me a large comment down below. So what do you like about the home? What did you think? Any changes you'd make, in case I didn't point out, has a really nice divider area right there on your ceiling. Make sure that subscribe button is gray, not red. If it is, make it gray. Turn on notifications, that way you get notified when I upload videos three times a week. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, well, I hope you all liked what you saw. This was a really nice home, fairly large home. Coming in at 2,076 square foot. As you can see, you got the upstairs here. So I figured I'd give you some price information on this home. Keep in mind, this is at Homes by Vanderbilt. They only service the North Carolina area. Some price information on this. Is at time of filming in October of 2022.
The base price on this home comes in at $308,000. The uh, as shown price is uh, $386,000. So keep in mind there could be extra city and county fees depending on where you have this home delivered. Prices go up, they go down. Prices vary over time. So you got to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.